now heading out to the hotel. It just keeps on raining. Well, the sun's overrated. The man has dyed yellow hair which stands on end, a luminous green shirt, and leather trousers and a jacket. He seems bored as if he stood here for hours. I wonder why that might be. Hey, are you waiting here to see Crane too? Uh, not really. I'm just staying here for a few nights. What do you know about Crane? There's nothing we don't know about it. We've been waiting here for two days just to catch a glimpse of him. Are you sure he's in this hotel, then? Oh, yeah. He's got the best room in the hotel. The penthouse suite. It's supposed to have a pool. Well, I hope you see him, then. Yeah, catch you later. Information. Sat on the sofa is a girl wearing a purple dress made of a strange material that seems to change color slightly as she moves. She sits staring out across the lobby. Occasionally, she says something to the man stood next to her. We're waiting for David Crane. Don't you just love him? I... I've been to all his gigs and I've got all his albums. Well, actually... You know, I've even got his early stuff. He spat on me at a concert once. God, it was great. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was. Catch you later. Oh, well, okay. I'll see you then. Mm. What kind of an accent was that? Sounds like they were going for some kind of Irish thing. Ah, I guess it's just totally out of nowhere. Ah, hey, it's a global world, um, which I think actually uh, is tautology, but well, <clears throat> oh, hey, let's try ringing the bell, even though the receptionist is right here. Well, that's standard protocol. <clears throat> Okay. Hello. The receptionist is a middle-aged woman in a red dress who is looking decidedly agitated. She hammers away on her keyboard and stops occasionally to answer the phones. She is wearing a pair of large glasses. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Regency Hotel. How can I help you? I'd like a room for tonight, please. Well, we haven't got many left, and they're all quite expensive. David Crane, the singer, he's staying here tonight, you know. Oh, yeah. I suppose he's got all the best rooms. Well, Mr. Crane has the penthouse suite naturally, but there is a vacant suite below, and that's quite luxurious. And how much would that cost just for tonight? I'm afraid that's 830 altogether, including tax. Will that be all right? Uh, yes. I guess so. Well, if you'd like to sweep your cash card through the scanner, I can give you your room key. Right, thanks. The receptionist looks at me expectantly. Perhaps I should use my cash card now. Okay, why are all the accents con con uh, centered in this hotel? Well, maybe... Maybe this used to be like... It's like New Scotland or something, I don't can't imagine. So now I am glad I'm doing the CD-ROM version with speech. Yeah, we'd be missing out. And I gotta say, he must really want to kill this guy to be spending that much money. That's outrageous. Oh yes, he does. Oh, and there comes the key card. Oh, there we go. Mm. Let's see. Mm, I guess that's nothing. Yep. Ooh. 
this, this does look fairly nice. Yeah. It's clean for one thing. Mm. But the television isn't any better. No. Ooh, a Bible. No, it seems like he could use some divine intervention. Yeah. Ooh. At the very least, maybe it could deflect a bullet or something. Fresh food for change. Yeah, we should swipe that while we can. Oh, um. that's... That's sad. stock peach toilet paper. Yeah, that's a big minus. Well, that's our room. Let's see who else's rooms we can get into. I don't think we will be. should be doing? Well, we need to get up there. I'm, I was assuming at first maybe we were going to go, like, climbing up off a balcony or something, but I guess we could go up the elevator shaft. Yeah. Unfortunately, we need to do something to sabotage the controls. Something small and sharp. Unfortunately, we... Wait a minute, um... Hmm... Let me check what the screwdriver works. forgot something we need, so we'll just have to go run around then. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Let's go back here and prefer to implicate the girlfriend, grab a knife from her drawer. Yeah. still passed out in bed anyway, so she won't mind. Easy, but 
I don't really remember if we can find anything better for the task, so let's just roll with this. Oh, and there's a security camera. Hello! I'm sure this will go perfectly smoothly with no repercussions. Oh yeah, what are the odds they're gonna have high security up on the penthouse suite? Or they'll see us escaping if we happen to murder somebody. Oh, the escape is going to be interesting. Just wait and see. I do get the impression from the save that something's about to happen. Yep. Now let's see if this works. Right. There we go. And now we can move it on up. This is what we needed the axe for. Oh good, it's gonna be like The Shining. Oh yes indeed. Things can only end well. Here's Ryan. <laughs> oh, bummer. Quick, what do we do? I'm hoping we have enough time to the gun. Let's try that. Oops. Nope. Well, <laughs> I would have been surprised anyway because he did kind of have it drawn out already. Uh, blah blah blah. The same ending. Now <laughs> oh, let's. Now, oh, do you have any? The ideas how we might survive that. Well, apparently, gun is not the right answer. And uh, I'm guessing we're not making a good impression by coming in through the fire axe. Oh, actually, up to this point, this, this is the only way to act. We could just say we're a pool guy or something. I'm Actually, sure. we let's make good use of what we have out and ready. And like so. Well, that was pretty awesome right there. You like it. And Hello there, my good sir. How are you feeling? Oh. Was that just the can that went in the water at the beginning, or did someone dive in there? No, it was just a can this guy tossed into the water. Oh, okay. So I didn't know if anyone would actually be smart enough to try to hide under the floating chair or not. Well, this is going well. Now let's see if we can find the, the guy we actually need to. Okay, and this is this is quite nice. We got rocks and plants and a small pool of water. Yeah, only the best for the rich. Hello. Oh, well, he's pointing it right at you. You need to start shooting immediately. Expect that. Well, it was kind of kind of hard to anticipate anything after that. <laughs> ah, 
But hey, this means we get to see all that lovely sex and violence again. Yes. Because truly one time is not enough. Nope. Is just rocking out to his exit stuff, and I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, no. Okay, now let's. Terrorless. Hello there. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, not at all. Shoot him up. Quinn sits up in bed with a pillow over his groin. His forehead is beaded with droplets of sweat and his chest rises and falls with his rapid breathing. He looks as though he's scared of me. Yeah, he could shoot him right away, but let's talk to him. Have a nice friendly chat first. Yeah. So you found me. The keepers have sent their deliverer. Then you are Crane. It won't do any good. Killing me will only make the others stronger. I must kill you. Then the nightmares will end. No! Please! Spare me! No. I know what I have to do. Yep. Well... The heck? Oh... It's all starting to make sense. He's the Highlander, right? Uh. Well, all the Scottish accents, and that had to be the quickening. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Hey, it's our dream guy. Let's talk to him. The Keeper of the Dream Web stands before me with his head bowed and his hands clasped together in front of him. His robe hangs heavily from him and I can barely make out a face beneath the hood. And he also reminds me of Ethereals from XCOM. Well, he's totally well, like trustworthy your guys. Path has been chosen. I know. It has begun. The power released from the human crane has entered the dream web. His life energy must be consumed by the web. Use the key of the ancestors to unlock the power. We have a long way to go. The remaining six are becoming stronger. I can feel it. They are recruiting more followers, becoming stronger and joining forces. Who will be next? His name is Sterling. He commands the largest armed force on Earth. He is in a great position of power and must be destroyed. I know what I must do. Yeah, looks like our next, next target is the commander of the armed forces of the United States. Oh. Hey, we're moving up. <laughs> Mm. They're becoming stronger, so I'm assuming he's going to be in bed with two women at once, <laughs> instead of just one. Okay, and now to leave here, we have to find the door which will let us out.
I get the feeling we'll be back there later. All good tonight. It's it ends face down on a alleyway. Party hardy. <laughs> hmm. hmm. I wonder where we are. We did one very high profile killing and we are on our way to the next one. Surely this will go smoothly. But that's it for this time. Say bye Mike. Bye Mike. <laughs> <laughs>